Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan the Yarn Addict and I am here bringing you a stitch tutorial. This particular stitch is called the Hot Cross Bun Stitch. It is very textured. It's very nice actually. It consists of treble crochets crisscrossing each other with a double crochet cluster and rows of single crochet, okay? It's very, very easy. It works up very quickly because of the trebles and because of the double crochet clusters. This is fully reversible. It looks the same on the front as it does on the back. It's very easy, very easy to work. And I highly recommend um, using this particular stitch for blankets, for shawls, for throws, um, and for scarves. This works up really well in acrylic, uh, polyester blends, as well as wool. Um, and even cotton. This is a great stitch for the spring. Um, if you just want that throw on chilly nights, this would be perfect for that. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Okay, friends, so for this tutorial, we are gonna go ahead and use a medium four weight yarn. The yarn I'm using is Big Twist from Joann's. This is a medium four weight yarn. They actually recommend a five millimeter crochet hook. Um, I am going to be using a six millimeter crochet hook, otherwise known as a US letter J. I decided to uh, increase my hook size because I like the drape with this particular stitch. So feel free to use the recommended size that's on your skein or ball band. But if you like a good drape, I would recommend going up a hook size, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. This particular stitch works up in stitch multiples of three plus two, um, and then plus one for the foundation row, okay? So um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm obviously not going to train a lot. I'm just gonna go ahead and chain 21 because it is a multiple of three but feel free to go ahead and stitch as many as you want um, as long as it's a multiple of three now to start what we need to do is create a slip knot on our hook however you do that is absolutely fine so long as this is the end result just like that okay now from here go ahead and chain as many as you need as long as it's multiples of three I'm going to go ahead and place you guys on a brief pause until I get my multiples and I'll be right back. Okay, friends. So as I mentioned just a few seconds ago, we need to have multiples of three for this particular stitch. Um, so that's what I have. I chained a total of 21. Um, chain as many as you need as long as it's a multiple of three, as I mentioned. Now, um, we need multiples of three plus two plus one for the foundation row here, okay? So now what we wanna do is we wanna do a row of single crochets. And we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the second chain from the hook. So that's one and that's two. So we're gonna go into the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through two. We're gonna do the same thing all the way down our chain. Go into the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops. Continue doing that, my friends, until you get to the end of your chain, and I shall meet you at the end of your chain. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of our foundation row. Again, I only went to 21 chains, but chain as long as you need until you get to the multiple that you need, okay? So from here, what we need to do is chain four. So one, two, three, and four. We're gonna go ahead and turn our work. And from here, okay, we're going to skip this very first stitch right here. We're gonna pretend that does not exist, okay? And from here, what we need to do, one, two, three, okay? Again, skip that one, pretend that doesn't exist. And then go into the third one, one, two, and three. So we're gonna do a treble crochet. We're gonna yarn over twice. We're gonna go into the stitch where my thumb is, draw up a loop, and perform the treble crochet. One, two, and three. Each time going through two loops. 
from here, we're going to chain one. And then what we're going to do is go back. So we're going to go backwards. So we were in this stitch, we're going to skip one and we're going to go into this particular stitch right here. So we're going to yarn over twice. And then we're going to take the tip of our crochet hook and come down. Go into that stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. And there's our cross. So to continue from here, what we need to do is look at where we were last at stitch wise here, which is right there. And we need to count three over. So one, two, and three. Keep our thumb there as a marker. Yarn over twice, go into the stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. Treble crochet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, and we're going to do another treble crochet, but we need to go back. So we're in the stitch, we skip the stitch, and we go into this stitch. So we're always going to skip one in between. So yarn over twice. Take the tip of your crochet hook, go around, and go down, just like that. Go in, drop a loop, and do your treble crochet as per normal. Just like that. And you'll see crosses forming. So let's go ahead and do one more. All right, so this is where we list at. We're gonna go one, two, and three. So use my thumb as a marker, just like that. Yarn over twice, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, just like that. The next thing we need to do is chain one, and then we need to look at our work and go backwards, skipping one. So we were in this one, we're going to skip this one, and we're going to go to this one here. So yarn over twice. Go take the tip of our hook, go down, and into the triangle there, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, go through two, go through two, and go through two. And there's our next X, our cross. So continue doing that, my friends, and I'll see you at the end of the row, okay? Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of our row of crosses here. And you should have one stitch remaining. That is not wrong. It should be like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a treble crochet in that last stitch. So we're going to yarn over twice. We're going to go into that stitch. Make sure we pick up the front loop and the back loop just like that. We're going to drop a loop, yarn over, and go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through the final two for the treble crochet, just like that. And so from here, what we need to do is we need to chain four, okay? So one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and turn our work. And we're gonna go into all of the crosses here, all of the crosses of the row, okay? It works up very fast because we do that. So what we're gonna do is the double crochet cluster. So to do that, we need to yarn over, go into our cross, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go into the cross, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two. And do that one more time, just like this. Yarn over, go through two. And now you should have four loops on your hook with three stitches underneath, okay? So to finish this off, we need to yarn over, Go through all of the loops, chain one to lock, chain one to move on, okay? So now we're just going to come over to the next cross. We're going to work all of our stitches right in there. So yarn over, go into the cross, drop a loop, go through two. Yarn over, go into the cross, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two. Do that one more time, just like this. You should have four loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all of the loops, chain one to lock, chain one to move on. 
Continue doing that, and I'll see you at the end of the row. Okay, my friends, so here I am approaching the end of row three. We had row one singles, one row treble crosses, and row three double crochet clusters, okay? So here I am approaching the end, and um, this is kind of where we're at. So to finish row three, what we need to do is finish this off with a double crochet. But we're not going to put the double crochet here because that's the head of that treble. What we're going to do is go into the chain space right after here. So if you turn that chain around, you'll see the V. We're going to go into that V. So yarn over, go into that chain, drop a loop, and do a double crochet, just like that. Perfectly straight. Okay? Now from here, what we're going to do is a row of single crochets. So we're going to start the repeat again. So again, this pattern, this stitch is a three row repeat. One, two, and three. That's the uh, hot cross buns. It's in between my fingers, just like that. So, so to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and turn our work. This chain one does not count towards anything. Okay, it literally allows us to turn our work and be comfortable. So from here, what we want to do is we want to insert our hook right into the head of this particular stitch right here. So we're going to go in. We're going to drop a loop, yarn over, and go through two loops. Now, this little triangle that you're looking at right here, that's what I call the lock chain. That's what we use to lock that cluster. So we're going to go into that lock chain, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through two. Now we're going to go to the top of the cluster here and insert a single crochet in the top of that cluster, just like that. Now, we're going to do a single crochet in the chain space, just like that, into the lock chain, just like that, a single crochet, and then a single crochet on the top of the cluster, just like that. It's coming out beautiful. So now, let's do that again. We're going to do a single crochet in the chain space. We're going to do a single crochet in the lock chain, just like that. And then we're going to do a single crochet in the top of that cluster, just like that. Chain space, the lock chain, top of the cluster. So go ahead and repeat that, and I'll see you at the end of the row. Okay, my friends, so we are approaching the end of our single crochet row here. So the last single crochet that I put in was for the single crochet above the uh, clusters here. Okay, so, and this is the case in every row. So once you approach the end of this row, you have to remember after you do the single crochet for the cluster, you need to do two more single crochets, okay? So what you want to do is turn your chain over and you want to do two single crochets in the next two chains there. So right there, single crochet, and then right in that next one there. Single crochet, perfectly straight, just like that, okay? So, this is the beginning of a second repeat, right? So, row one, row two, row three, now row one, okay? So now that we did row one, like here, the next in the repeat is the treble crosses here. So, like down here, what we wanna do is chain four. So one, two, three, and four. We're going to turn our work, and like before, we're not going to count this. We're going to pretend that doesn't exist, okay? So I kind of like to hold it just like that. And so we're going to skip, skip, and that's the one we need to get into. So treble crochet into that stitch right there. So we're going to yarn over twice, 
go into that stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, and perform our treble crochet as normal, just like that. And we're gonna chain one, as always, and then now we're gonna go back. We're gonna skip one and go back to this stitch right here, okay? So when you're doing the crosses, there should always be one stitch that separates, okay? So let's yarn over twice, take the tip of our crochet hook, go down, go into the triangle, and go into the stitch that we called out earlier, draw up a loop, do our treble crochet as normal, just like that. And just to confirm, you want to make sure that there's a skipped stitch there, okay? So from here, what we want to do is skip, skip, skip. So we're going to go into this stitch right here with a treble crochet. So make sure you yarn over twice. You're going to go into skip, skip, and go into this one. Drop a loop and perform your treble per normal, just like that. You're going to chain one, and then you're going to look at your work. You're going to go backwards. You were here. You're going to skip, and then you're going to you're going to go into this one right here. So you're going to yarn over twice, go down, insert the tip of your hook right there, drop a loop, and do your treble as per normal. Just like this. Okay? So let me do that one more time with you guys really quick. So we're going to go over to the third stitch. So we just came out of this one. Skip, skip, right here. Put your thumb there to hold it. You're gonna yarn over twice. You're gonna go into that stitch. You're going to draw a loop, yarn over, go through two, go through two, go through two. You're going to chain one. Then you're gonna look at your work and go back. So you were here, you're gonna skip one, and you're gonna go right here, okay? So you're gonna yarn over twice, going to take the tip of your crochet hook, go down, go into the triangle, put it right in there, draw up a loop, go through two, go through two, and go through two, just like that, okay? So continue doing that, and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of our crosses, okay? And as before, you should have one stitch remaining, okay? Now, if you ever come to the end of this row and you don't have anything remaining, don't worry. All you need to do is just do a treble right into the same stitch you just came out of, um, and you'll still remain, you'll maintain the same stitch count, okay? So that's in those um, pinch moments, okay? But as, as is the case here, we do have the one stitch. So we're going to go ahead and do a treble crochet into that last stitch, yarn over twice, go into the stitch and make sure you grab the front loop and the back loop. You're going to drop a loop, yarn over, and perform your treble as per normal, just like that. Okay? Look how beautiful that edge is. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now what we want to do is repeat the third row of our three row repeat, which is the double crochet clusters, okay? And as before, we wanna make sure that we're working in the centers of our crosses, okay? So let's get started with this particular row. What we wanna do is chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And what we wanna do is turn our work, and we're gonna go right into the crosses, okay? Like before. So we're going to do our cluster by yarning over, go into the cross, draw up a loop, yarn over, and only go through two. And we're gonna do that two more times. Just like that. And then to finish off the cluster, we're going to yarn over and go through all the loops, chain one to lock, chain one to move on. Okay? Do it one more time. We're going to yarn over, go into the cross, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, and we're going to do that two more times. Yarn over, go in, grab a loop, yarn over, go through two. 
yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two. So we have three stitches and four loops. We're going to yarn over, go through all the loops, chain one to lock, chain one to move on. So continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, my friends, so here I am at the last double crochet cluster. And as before, down here, we want to make sure that we finalize our row with one double crochet. And we want to make sure that we don't go into this stitch right here, which is the treble. We want to go into the chain space right after it. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the chain space right after. I like to turn this over, if I'm being honest. I like to see the V's. Okay, so insert your hook into the chain, draw up a loop, and do your double crochet as per normal. And it should give you a flush edge just like that when you apply tension. Now mind you, I went a hook size larger so there's some drape here. So the edge isn't going to be straight like a board. I mean, it's pretty straight all things considered. But there it is my friends. This here is uh, two repeats of a three repeat pattern of a stitch. So there it is, hot cross bun stitch. Okay, let me go ahead and show you a bigger version of the situation. And let me just back this up. Just like that. I mean, it is gorgeous. It can be a shawl, it could be a blanket, it could be a throw. Now, they say that it looks best when you're using a lighter colored yarn, just because you can see all the stitch definition, but honestly, you can use anything you want, if I'm being honest. I, I think you can, once you've mastered this stitch, you can use any weight, um, any hook size you'd like, just as long as you, you get the stitch, okay? So... That's all I have for this stitch tutorial, my friends. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and then of course hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. It's been a pleasure showing you this stitch, and until the next one, guys, take care. Bye-bye.